Good day everyone, this is Dr. Soper here, and today I'll be talking about visualizing random walks in three dimensions. To begin, let's take a look at what is meant by a random walk. A random walk is simply a series of steps through a space, where the location of the next step is chosen randomly from among the set of available options. Here, for example, we see a two-dimensional space containing 25 possible locations. Now let's imagine that we begin in the center of this space. From this location, we have eight possible places where we might go next. If by random chance we happen to move to the right, then we would again have eight possible locations for our next step. If by random chance we happen to move to the right again, we would then have five possible places where we might go next. Beginning in the center, a random walk involving 10 steps in this two-dimensional space might therefore look something like this. If we were to repeat this task many times, we would expect to walk along many different paths within the space, because each subsequent step is chosen randomly. Now let's see what happens if we extend this concept into three dimensions. Here we see a three-dimensional space. Since each dimension has 100 possible values, there are a total of 1 million possible locations within the space. In each of the following examples, we will take 2,500 random steps through this three-dimensional space, beginning in the center of the space. Let's see our first example. As you can see, this particular random walk begins with a brief exploration of the center of the space, after which it proceeds to explore the upper half of one of the sides of the space. By the time this particular random walk is finished, we can see that one half of the space has remained entirely unexplored. Now let's see another example. As before, we will take 2,500 random steps, beginning at the center of the space. In this particular random walk, we began by moving from the center to one side of the space, after which we quickly moved all the way to the other side of the space. A great deal of time is then spent exploring a relatively small area on that side of the space. Periods of local exploration, punctuated by rapid travel over comparatively long distances, are a common characteristic of random walks.
In our third and final example, we will once again be taking 2,500 random steps, beginning at the center of the space. One of the most fascinating things about the human brain is that we automatically look for patterns in things as we attempt to make sense out of what we're seeing. When looking at visualizations of three-dimensional random walks, people often see shapes, patterns, familiar objects, or even what looks like handwriting. Regardless of what you yourself might see in these three-dimensional random walks, I hope that these visualizations will help you to see that there is a certain beauty that can emerge from randomness. Well, my friends, thus concludes our brief look at visualizing random walks in three dimensions. I hope you learned something interesting from this video, and until next time, have a great day.